in my case, by three generations of family members with serious mental illness. My niece has schizoaffective illness that was not diagnosed until she was well into her adolescence. Although she had experienced symptoms for many years and came close to dropping out of school. Today, she has her associate's degree. She works part-time and is an abstract painter. In fact, I bought one of her first paintings and she would not give me a family discount. <laughs> she now has a strong network of family, professional support, and professional support who listens to her. And as she is known to say, it doesn't hurt to have a former commish as her primary case manager when the chips are down. For a long time, her safety net, as I'm sure many of you have experienced, for a long time, her safety net was fragile, and I provided a lot of strength to my younger sister. There wasn't respite or much in the way of family-to-family -family support where they lived, so I do get it. Our roles may be different, and we may have different perspectives on occasion, so we may not always agree of the, all the time of what the immediate priorities are, but I do need you to be critical friends in your advocacy for your loved ones and for your families because we share the goal of full participation, independent living, and economic self-sufficiency. And that inclusion contributes to all of our well-being. Thank you and have a wonderful conference and thank you for having me.